Hi everyone, my name is Adam Carmi and I'm the co-founder and VP R&D of Puppy Tools. We're a company that provides a cloud service for automated visual testing. As part of my work, I get to meet a lot of developers and testers and I'm always curious to learn how they do visual testing. Now, the two most common answers that I get is that uh, one, they have no idea what visual testing is and that two, they think I'm asking them whether or not they're using Sikuli. So, the main thing I hope you'll take away from this session is that you understand what visual testing is and that you can and should automate your visual tests. But if in addition you'll remember that uh, Sikuli is not a visual test automation tool and tell that to everyone you know, that would be awesome. So we have a lot, of, a lot to cover in today's session. Uh, first, um, I'll explain what visual testing is and why it should be automated. Then we'll look at the different tools that are available, how they work, and the technology that they're based on. And we'll conclude the session by explaining how automated visual testing can fit in your development or QA life cycle. Of course, there will be time at the end to answer any question that, that you may have, but especially in this forum, feel free to stop me at any point if anything is unclear. Okay. So what is visual testing? It is a quality assurance activity that is aimed to verify that a graphical user interface appears correctly to the end user. Now this goes beyond the traditional functional testing that you're used to do with tools like Selenium and others called the DUI, UFT, Appium, etc., where the focus is to test the functionality of the application through the UI. What we are focusing on here is making sure that the UI itself appears correctly, that each UI element appears in the right color, shape, position, and size, that it doesn't overlap or hide any other UI element. Now this type of testing has become increasingly difficult to perform in recent years, mainly because of the explosion in the number of, in the amount of execution environments, browsers, devices, operating systems, screen resolutions that applications are expected to run on. So here you can see um, an example of a visual bug that we found in the Microsoft Azure management portal. You can see here how the graph exceeded the expected bounds of the page. This is an example from Twitter. You can see how the notification timestamp overflowed on top of the notification that's below it, over here. Um, this is from the Financial Times. Here, uh, the article title uh, overflowed on top of the article body. And this is how the Amazon website looked like for se several hours for certain users on Amazon Prime Day, which was a huge sales day about six months ago. So I'm sure that you've all uh, seen these type of bugs before, hopefully not at your workplace, but I'm sure that you've seen them. You understand their severity, they can be very embarrassing, they can hurt the company brand, but in many situations, 